as we're sitting here on the phone, the head neonatologist, you know, one of the head neonatologists at UNC just emailed me and said, whoa, we, a lot of ramifications on this bill, we got to talk about this, so. He said the flu shot was extremely ridiculous because um, it was only 25% effective last year. Senate Bill 346, proposed by Jeff Tart, who just so happens to get a lot of political contributions from vaccine makers, made his previous money from John Hopkins, and is married to a woman who is still practicing in the medical field that makes money off of vaccinations, is to eliminate the religious exemption for all of North Carolina's school children. The one that's going to create all the excitement is the removal of the religious exemption. And so that will happen. Not only that, he also wants to force an annual flu shot on all of North Carolina school children. As you've just heard, that's only 25% effective, but there is a caveat, at least according to Jeff and what he's published in his newsletter, homeschool children will not be affected by this new law. Now, Jeff is all over social media saying this will not affect homeschoolers, so I thought it would be a good idea to go up to a meeting he was having, simply get him on camera saying it would not affect homeschoolers. Can I ask one, one question? Can I ask one quick question? I want to know, was it... Turn that on, I'm not talking to you. Okay. Okay, well, the one... No, I'm not talking to you. Was by what, no, his fourth no, amendment. Was, was it your intention? Was it your intention to vaccinate homeschoolers? Please. I'll leave. I'll leave right now, Jeff. I'm gone. Okay, I'm leaving. You hear? I'm not. Was it your intention, Jeff? All right. Well, it seems that Jeff Tart just doesn't want to go on camera and set the record straight, as he's tried to do through social media and as he did through his newsletter. He doesn't want to just look right into the camera and say, my bill is not intended to affect homeschoolers and my bill will not take away parental rights from homeschoolers who don't want to vaccinate their children. Why wouldn't Jeff look into the camera and say such a thing? It couldn't be that Jeff was, I don't know, maybe telling other people behind the scenes a different story about the intentions of his bill. Well, I called up my senators and I tried to get some answers. Lo and behold, Senator Chad Barefoot was in his office. This is Senator Barefoot. Hey, Senator Barefoot, uh, I was calling in opposition to Jeff Tart's bill that is going to uh, strip away religious exemptions for uh, homeschoolers, in including homeschoolers, um, when it comes to the issue of vaccinations. Have you uh, made a stand on that yet? Yeah, totally opposed to it. Well, very good. Yes, we need we need folks to stand up. You know, the main thing is, um, at least coming from my perspective, you know, as a Christian and a homeschooler, um, that he is saying that this bill is only going to affect public school students. Um, no, he's not. He, I asked him that specific question, and his intent on this bill is to block uh, all students, and um, that's a real problem. I asked him that specific question, and his intent on this bill is to block uh, all students. I asked him that specific question, and his intent on this bill is to block uh, all students. I asked him that specific question, and his intent on this bill is to block uh, all students. I asked him that specific question, and his intent on this bill is to block uh, all students. I asked him that specific question, and his intent on this bill is to block uh, all students. His intent on this bill is to block uh, all students. In case you didn't hear what Senator Chad Barefoot just said, that Jeff Tart told him personally, face-to-face, -face, about Senate Bill 346, well, Senator Jeff Tart told Mr. Barefoot that the bill would affect all children, including homeschooled children, to take an annual flu shot, go along with the CDC recommendations and the CDC timeline with no exemptions, not for homeschoolers, not for anybody, no exemptions other than medical exemptions whatsoever. End of story. Jeff Tart is caught in a lie. Why would he say one thing behind closed doors and another thing on social media? I think it explains why he wouldn't want to go on camera and lie. Wouldn't you agree? I mean, come on. Who wants to be caught in a lie on camera? Well, Chad Barefoot's got some advice for all you activists that are trying to kill Senate Bill 346. 
and you're about to hear, but first I'll give you some advice as well. There are those among our ranks who pretend to care about this issue. They act as if they want to kill the bill. They have done this with many other bills. When people tell you to stop making phone calls, when they tell you to not show up and rally, when they tell you that you're going to make everybody look bad and to just be really, really nice and they try to control the situation, those people are not only not on your side, they're working for the other side. Hey, don't listen to me. Take some advice from Chad Barefoot. I think what's got everybody riled up other than the bill being filed is saying that maybe misstating the support that he had for the bill, you know? Yeah, yeah, I think uh, it's it's really starting to sound like that as I make my make my rounds of phone calls. But I would tell you guys to keep up keep up the pressure and help send a strong message that there's a loud you know a loud and vocal group of people out there that's saying you know keep your hands you know off my health care. If you appreciate videos like this, I would appreciate your support. And you can donate safe and securely at constitutionalwar.org. I thrive on your donations. They go away. So do videos like this. Please donate at constitutionalwar.org.